There we go, fish number one for me. <laughs> Little guy hit the top water. Check it out. Hey, I'm out here fishing with Josh. He's actually holding the camera. And he's got a little his little family property off the grid. We're gonna he's been trying to get me out for a while. We're gonna camp out tonight. Well, yeah, we're just leaving his cabin, which has no power, but I'm gonna show you something that we're gonna use for that in just a second. I'm gonna show you catfish that Josh just caught. And then I'm gonna show you a little power source that we're gonna use to cool cabin off, run the air conditioning. And tomorrow we're gonna get up and go kayaking down a really awesome river. Probably, hopefully throwing some top water tomorrow also. I really wanna get some small mouth on top water. And it's been warm, they may just be active. You know what that come on? Sausage from the pizza. A piece of sausage? <laughs> Oh, that's nice one. These guys are so feisty. This fish has probably never been caught before. Speak to me. It's missing his eyeball. That easy. Come on, bud. <laughs> a little blue cat. Pretty cool. Thanks, bud. Listen to you don't want to know what he's saying. You <laughs> don't know what he's saying. <laughs> that was cool. Got it. There we go. They were, they were, oh man. You're not a joke, Josh. These, these blue are big. Oh wow. <laughs> so pretty too. Now these, these should have no trouble getting in their mouth. These, no wonder the bass are tiny. The bluegill are giants in here. I told you we're going to have to keep some and do Dude, a cook. You, yeah. I would, you, you definitely need to do that. Get a good one. This is up here in Josh's little pond. It's just a little, little bit of nothing, but man, there's so many cool bluegill. He takes his kids up here and lets them catch it. But you know, we're all kids in heart, and that's why it's so fun just to come here and catch whatever you can catch. Let's try to get one more, and then I gotta get uh, my stuff ready for sleeping tonight. We're gonna just kind of sit around. We already ate some pizza. We ordered, ordered a pizza. Brought it up here. We got some more snacks. I got my chocolate milk to drink tonight. And it's gonna get dark here in uh, about 45 minutes. So we're gonna start getting things organized. This little, his little cabin, um, he has a little generator. And um, it's, a, it's a little two stroke generator that runs the little window air conditioner. So check this out. And then I brought the little Upas uh, electric power uh, battery bank. And I've been wanting to test it out. They sent it to me to try out. It's got a lot of power, and I, but I didn't know, I don't know if it'll run an air conditioner. So we're gonna plug it up and see what it does. You just running. And it's much quieter. It says three hours. Shows me my output. I'm gonna let it run. Um, so we can do some filming and it's so quiet up here. Oh, and it's working. So we're able to, not that's a big deal, but if you have that power, we're able to run this air conditioner without any noise really outside, uh, kind of sitting around relaxing. Now it's probably not gonna run as long as that gas powered one, but it's doing pretty good. And we're gonna let it run. I wanna see how it does. Maybe leave it run all night and test it in the morning, but that was really cool. So we got a couple little errands to get ready and um, we'll make show some more stuff, but definitely got more fishing coming. And good morning. Slept pretty good in the cabin. We're kind of excited about getting here on the river. I've been to this and I've done this one time before. I caught some fish, that was like a month ago. It's been warm. I'm hoping the fishes have gotten a lot more active, but it's a really beautiful place. Josh is down here recording and we're about to get the kayaks in and start floating. There's 
spinnerbait bite within the first few minutes. Pretty fish right there. Probably about 13, 14 inch. What was that? Oh, it was like a drum. I had something huge following my bait. It was just kind of following it. There's, there's a good one. Nice one. Yeah. Another one on the spinnerbait. I've thrown a, like a little Ned Rig lure. Had some sunfish bite it. So that's two on that spinnerbait. He's a pretty solid little fish for river fish. Let's see how long it is. 14 and a half inches. So, yeah. That's kind of what we're looking for today. Let's go back. There we are. Yeah. All right, switch to a white swim bait. Got me one. I did this the other day and caught some fish, but I did it really late in the trip. I gotta. I used to use this white swim bait a lot, but I gotta go back to it. So that's number three. Pretty um, yeah, ten incher. Let's see what else we can get. He's in the current too, so that's cool. There's one. Oh yeah. Woohoo yeah. I may have found out the bait of choice. Here's my second since our little snack break. Nothing nothing big, but it's too pretty quick. So let me throw him back in there. And it's on a white swim bait. One eighth ounce jig head. This is the Yum Pulse swim bait. And he tore it up a little bit. Let me redo it. Get it. And it was, uh, the first one was in the current. This one was off like a little murkier bank. And I've had a couple hits, so um, that may be it. Cause the other day I, I switched at the end to a white swim bait and ended up catching like a 17 and a half. On the same river, but it's like a different section and it was a few weeks ago. So I'm, th I'm, th I'm switching to it now and I've already caught a couple of fish. And I used, to, I used to use a white swim bait all the time. And it's such a lure that, you know, everybody knows and thinks to use, but I, I don't know what it is. Maybe like, cause I, I haven't been able to finesse them. Caught a few on the spinnerbait. You know, I've been throwing like finesse lures and nothing, but this little fright swim bait just swimming it and they're hitting it pretty aggressive. Let's we'll see if it keeps up though. We'll, we'll, we'll see if the pattern holds. Ooh. Oh, another one. That's three on the swim bait. Definitely, uh, definitely working. My, I didn't set my hook. My, uh, you've what, caught five already and I've caught zero? <laughs> yeah, I caught, I've caught three since, since, uh, we stopped. Now, all on this swim bait. So, three small ones on that. That seems to be what is starting to work. They're just, they're little guys so far, but they're chasing it down. I'm just trying to get bites here. Nice. Finally got my first one uh, over 16 inches. I'll put it on the built-in board here in the Crescent Showy, but finally got a decent little smiley, guys. There's one. Oh. <laughs> little guys up in the shade. Oh, this is a
Uh, oh man, I got thumped it. I missed it. I see him. I see him still there. He's still there. Ah! I got hit, but it was a little one. He like hammered it. There's one. There you go. Oh, that's a solid one. That's my best one today. I think. That's a good one. He uh, actually swallowed that one. I had like three bites through here from like a hundred yard stretch where I had three hits and none of them got landed. And then this one was a little bit in this, a little bit back of the pool, deeper water, and he really ate that. So that's, it's crazy that. I switch this it's like how do you how do you forget when lures work you kind of forget about them you move on to other stuff but then you kind of go back to them you're like oh yeah i forgot that lure was a really good lure another good smallie probably another 14 incher oh well so much for a gracious release Okay, we got back in the kayak. Took my dude. I took. I feel so much better after jumping in, just taking a little dip. The water's kind of cool, but whew, it feels refreshing. Kind of got me ready to go back for this last little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's always so. Uh, all right, my pants are wet. That's all right. We're kind of warm, getting warm out here. Got kind of. Yeah, I like the. I love jumping in on the river trips as long as it's warm just it just it kind of refreshes you you know takes your mind off everything and now i'm ready to fish again not that we got a ton but i got i got two different lures on there i think will work Don't tell me that's the guy that hit my mag draft. <laughs> I, I followed up and I got about a six inch spot oh. <laughs> off the uh, off my little swim bait. I had a hit or something on the mag draft and I threw back in there and caught that guy. Which wouldn't surprise me, he might hit it too. You got another one up here? No, just that one, but I think that's four that I touched. 
Yeah. I had another hit down there. He hit my mag drive, twisted my tail around, like stuck it and did all kinds of stuff. Just like a really, it's like he hit it as soon as it hit the water. I was like, whoa. I don't even know. Hey, hey, hey. What you doing? A big old shoal right here, it just drops off. It's funny and aggravating how often I forget certain lures or just like I have a lure, maybe I've used it a ton and kind of like, yeah, this is a good lure, it catches a lot of fish. And then somehow you just forget to pick that lure back up. Like I don't even know how it happens, but you move on, the times change, you go through different seasons and then you get different lures. And then it comes back around that next year and, you're, and you forget to go back to what was working before and uh, you try to force something to happen. I've been trying to force other lures to work where I'm like, I don't understand how I'm not catching more fish. And during this time, the weather hadn't been just awesome. It's still been kind of cold. We have a cold spring. The fish hadn't really come alive. I had like two or three days where I've gone and started using like smaller swim baits. And you'll probably see that like a trend in the next few videos that I have, um, you know, some of them, because it's like I started using them again and I started catching more fish. And I'm like, that's why these things work. Just a little, Little swim bait, it's amazing, it just catches fish. This was the uh, swim bait I was using, and it's the uh, Yum Pulse white one, but this one right here is one of my favorites. This is the uh, Sinful Shad, and these, they're just three and a half inch, they're pretty slim. Now there's tons of swim baits, and I've kind of been going and buying a bunch more again, because I'm like, all right, I just want to go buy a bunch of different brands and try things out. And I'm really liking the size of these Six Sense Divine, they're they're small but the, what i've been seeing here recently is these this little lure is catching like really good fish like you know 16 17 18 inch uh especially small mouth and large mouth so many fish have been caught on this 2.8 inch kitek and in this video i was talking to josh i was like josh like i really think they're hitting this little swim bait and he switched and he had this this is what he had the little 2.8s and he he i think he caught more fish than me and i kind of slowed down my fishing I actually ran out of the white swim baits. I actually didn't bring a lot that trip. I didn't have a lot of stuff with me. And the, the ones I had were tore up. So he caught more fit and he had a giant on that came off at the end, if you watched his video. But I'm like, how do you forget these things? I kind of forget some of the simple stuff, but this is a, uh, this is a super shad, just 2.8 inch. It seems tiny and you, you know, and I, I'm usually the guy that's using small lures, but I've kind of been going away and been using mag drafts and some bigger lures. and. But it's like, these things will catch all size fish, um, especially in the rivers. These Largo Shads are really good. I've been messing with these. I've been catching a few fish off of them. The Spark Shad, such a good lure, such good action. A lot of these lures, they're gonna tear up. They're, they're very soft, but that's, that's what helps them be so good, I believe. Just being that soft and subtle, and they just catch a lot of fish. Plus, I've been using some mag drafts. I, caught a, I bought a couple more. But a six inch mag draft. Um, just the other day, it pulled out the biggest fish in the river and I, it hit and came off though. I didn't land it, but it was by far the biggest bite I had all day and throwing that. So just up from six inch to three inch and you know, this, they're just a big comparison, but sometimes the bigger fish, they don't care. They're, they're just gonna hit. And sometimes the littler fish don't care. But anyhow, if you've forgotten about how good a swim bait is, this is, my, this is my little wake up call to just throw one on and start using them, especially if you're having a tough day getting bites. Go to like a small swim bait. And I should have did this the other day. I, I've been looking back at some of my trips and thinking about it. And I'm, I think if I would have went to a smaller swim bait, I would have landed more fish, like uh, the 2.8 or a two inch, I'm, I'm, you know, something like that, something real small. Because the fish here recently, I've seen several days where they're they're biting and just like nipping at my lure and I'm using something maybe just a little bit bigger 
and they're just kind of halfway grabbing it or they're they're just smashing it or just like just like slamming it and letting go like hitting it real quick and i think if i had downsized i would have landed more fish um that's something i'm going to be doing more we'll see what happens coming out but let me go over this upas uh battery pack 1800 watt there's also gave they gave me a discount code if anybody wants to get one and i'm in i'm sitting in right now in the back of my 97 tahoe and if you haven't seen this i have four vehicles by the way right now so you never know what i'm going to drive in I, I might be selling one tomorrow i might buy one tomorrow who knows i like messing around with trucks and, and vehicles but i bought this 97 tahoe broke down and i've put way too much money into it but this is what I want to turn into like my camping truck and like taking it up in the mountains. You know, it ain't, it ain't the greatest condition in the world, but it's got the barn doors. Uh, I'm gonna take a seat out. I can put a bed in here. And I was wanting a battery pack. I was wanting something I can take into the mountains. Say I go up there for a day or two that I don't have to rely off charging everything off my truck battery. It ran the air conditioner for two hours before it shut off. It went into like, I think low power mode it went down to like 30% and then it wouldn't run it no more. Um, and I think I was just, I looked it up, it was something about just, it wasn't, it didn't have enough output to keep going, but it could still charge your phone or still charge things. Like I want to bring a laptop, maybe a small screen, say I want to go out and edit. Like I usually don't have anything, you know, to power uh, my laptop or something like that. So now I can just take this with me. It's very simple. You can also charge this off your vehicle while it's running. Uh, you can charge it at home, but if you're just using it for small stuff, it seems to last quite a while. So it's it's been really cool. Uh, I'll leave an information and link. You can just go check it out. You know, I think they're about a thousand dollars. So it's it's a it's a lot for a pack, but for people that are like for me, I was actually looking at going and buying one, and, and then this company reached out because I was like, I need something like that where I can have um, something for when I'm doing an overnight trip or just traveling and I, you know, I just need something extra. Maybe I want to run a little mini fridge. That's what I was thinking about getting a little mini fridge in here or uh, like I already did run a fan off of it. It can run a fan, which especially when it's getting warmer, I'm gonna, I can just hook a fan out. It's, plus it doesn't make any noise. It's already got uh, fans on the side to cool it. It's got a big light in the back. You can turn this big light on. Oh, but there you have it. I plan to do a lot more trips and um, hopefully I'll get this vehicle ready and. I kind of want to show some like camping trips, but that's, that's just something I'm working on. I'm kind of going slow into that and we'll see how it goes. Thanks so much for watching.